Well, right behind me is our amazing new animal care center. It will be open in June and it's only steps away from our former building which is going to go away eventually and we're so excited about how wonderful this is going to be for the animals in the community. Unlike our old building which kind of evolved over literally the period of a hundred years, this building was designed very thoughtfully for the best, um, the best environment and the best care for the animals. There are specialized spaces for the dogs, the cats, the small animals, and um, specialized spaces for people too. We're gonna have um, a break room for our volunteers and we're gonna have space for education and all of the things that we ever wished for pretty much in this building. The biggest challenge is always funding. Uh, folks don't realize that we don't get any government support. We're not funded by any munis municipal dollars. Um, so we're constantly fundraising. And this building, um, which will cost over $7.2 million, we're about halfway to our goal. So um, we're always hoping that people will learn more about us and feel inspired to support us. Statistics show that adoption isn't people's first choice. Um, although it seems that way because a lot of people are aware of all the great animals that are available in shelters and so forth, um, still so many people get their animals from breeders or even from pet stores, which is the absolute worst. Um, or a lot of them, especially cats, just show up in their lives, on their back porch and then into their life. So. Um, so it's not as common as people think, but we hope that it will continue to grow and be the number one place where people get their pets. With the opening of our new building, it means more space, more opportunities, more programs, and we rely so much on our volunteers. So we're hoping that um, maybe you'll take a look at our website and see how you can get involved.